let's say we have a yard and here's a bird flying up above and here's a fire hydrant. I want to use the fire hydrant as my reference point, and I want to mark the position of the bird. That's the general position R. The horizontal position is just how far to the right the bird is from the fire hydrant, and the vertical position is how far up the bird is from the fire hydrant. And the angle, what angle does R point along? R is pointing along this angle theta. It's pointing up from X. And the number of degrees up that it points is the number uh, for theta. This is a right triangle, so I've got a right angle here. Our SOHCAHTOA rules have been useful, but there's a trick. Instead of using SOHCAHTOA, consider the following. If I write down the sine equation, opposite is the one that goes out from the angle, so if I draw a line out from the angle I hit Y, that's opposite, and then hypotenuse is R. What if I write cosine? Well, <clears throat> cosine uses adjacent and hypo hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is R, it's across the 90 degree angle, but uh, what's the adjacent leg? Well, it's the other one that forms the angle, so X is adjacent. If I multiply both sides by R, what do I get? Y equals R sine theta, where R is the hypotenuse. Let's do the same thing down below. Multiply both sides by R. The R is just like before, we'll cancel out. And so now I have X on the right side equals R cosine theta. R is the hypotenuse, and sine is this number less than 1 that scales down to find the value of y. So sine could be 0.5, in which case we have to scale r down by 0.5 to get the leg y. The same is true for x. We can think of cosine as a scaling factor, which decreases the value of r appropriately so that we can find how big x is. And x has to be decreased because r is the biggest leg of the triangle. These equations will be useful to us, and we can use those every time we put theta between x and r. So these will be available to us. Similarly, let's say we have the same position triangle. We've got x, y, r, and theta. If I want to find r, and I know x and y, I use the Pythagorean theorem. What if I want to find theta from x and y? Well, I say x is adjacent theta, y is opposite. So adjacent and opposite, those are part of tangent. Theta is the inverse tangent of y over x, opposite over adjacent. These equations will also be useful to us.